Welcome to Kashadi Pines at Kashada Resort in Kinder, Louisiana. Final round of the Nota Begay the Third Junior Golf National Championship. What started with over 3,000 players, only 156 have made it to Kashadi Pines. Let's get out on the golf course. Ryan Burr and Nota Begay were with Nicholas Gross, 13 and under, 17 under par. And coming in from just under 140 yards and a little pull on that, but nonetheless, got a lot of cushion, shouldn't be a problem. And Nota Gross just absolutely putting on a show on his way to 17 under. Even when he's in trouble, he managed to pull off a birdie. Yeah, he's found one of those weeks where the game kind of opens up to you and everything seems to go your way. Playing from out of position, just off the green, now trying to get this birdie look to go down. Coming into the week, Gross said the best club in his bag was the putter and that putter did not disappoint. Nine now for Eagle from downtown. And Ryan, just look how smooth these surfaces are rolling. Superintendent had him just over 11, and these players are getting a great treat on the greens this week. We're live on the golf course with Sterling Hurd at 16. Yeah, he's in a tough uphill battle trying to close that gap a little. Pretty much a uh, contest for second place here, but uh, putting on a good show anyway. This now Braden Miller at 18, finishing up his round. Four under in round two, two under today. And Miller two under in all, but a long, long way back from Nicholas Gross. But making it to Cachata. How much does that mean to this kid? Check out Patman Malcolm now. Huge treat, huge honor to play here at Cachata. Well, absolutely. Anybody that was able to play here did not get an exemption, did not get some sort of invitation. Every single player that made it here qualified and they went through 36 holes and were able to earn their ticket to the Cachati Pines Golf Club. And Malcolm, you could see the emotion there. He and his dad on his bag. That's the beauty of the 13 and under. The kids out there with a caddy, which certainly is a great opportunity. Gross now for birdie at 16. And just cozying it up there. That's what you're supposed to do when you have a big lead. Let's get to the girls 13 and under. Yana Wilson, 12 under. This her third at 17. Very impressive from around the greens. You see many players use a putter or a less lofty club going with a little more loft there and uh, pulling off a very nice shot for Yana. Yana from Las Vegas, uh, plays in a lot of big events around the country, calls this the biggest event of her career and she did not disappoint. Again, great example, Re greens rolling true, beautiful read there, matches the speed and the read up perfectly. Birdie at eight, birdie at nine, a chance for three straight at 10. Again, similar to putt to what you saw at eight, just a little bit shorter, but same result. Three in a row. Now another opportunity for birdie at 12. No to Yana Wilson. Unstoppable. And this is just what has to happen to win these big tournaments. You find a sequence of holes to create some distance. You convert, and all of a sudden, she's built up a lead. It's five-shot lead. This to save par. Easy cleanup for Yana there. Beautiful golf so far. And Nota, let's take a look at our leaderboard where Wilson has built a five-shot lead. Haley Hahn in second has built a three-shot lead. Here she is at 18. How about this golf swing? She qualified from our Atlanta Regional. Well, I got a chance to watch her practice a little bit on the range and uh, just a beautiful motion, nice and fluid, and just gets that club in a great position heading into impact. And you can see right there, dead on line, just behind the hole. This now is the 14 to 18 boys. We have a log jam at the top. This is Auburn commit Brendan Valdez. Uh, this is just what you like to see at this older boys division. You got to earn it. You got to go out and shoot some good scores and play some good golf. And Valdez leading the charge right now. And how about that leaderboard, Nota? We are in for some drama this afternoon. This now, Byung Ho Lee, one off the lead this at 13. Calls Justin Thomas his favorite player and doing a great Justin Thomas impersonation there, hitting it in tight. To the final group, Nick Dunlop. He'll play his college golf at Alabama. He too won off the lead, his second. See many of these players going to some of the most powerful college programs in the country and for good reason, look at that execution for Dunlop. Nick committed to the Crimson Tide and head coach Jay Sewell when he was in the eighth grade. 
great look at Kashadi Pines, Noda. 14 to 18 girls live now with Isabella McCauley, one back at 12. A winner of over 50 junior tournaments in her young career, the Minnesota Star Tribune Player of the Year. And for good reason, had that one online, but just a little short. She'll have a look at birdie though, one back of Allen Stevens. Stevens is six under at the 12th. And playing out of Houston, Texas, comes from a family with a wonderful sporting pedigree. Her father played for the Houston Rockets, and that athletic talent got transferred down into Allen. Look at that shot. So it is Stevens for birdie now at 12. She has a one-shot lead. Both are on the green. Great leaderboard from 3,000 to just 156 players that are here at Cachata, born to win. From the first day I stepped in, I knew I would heed the call. I was destined for glory, rise above and never fall. This is the moment I've waited for. was born to win. Golf Channel presents the 2020 Nota Begay III Junior Golf National Championship. It is a perfect day for golf at Casati Pines at Cachada Resort in Kinder, Louisiana for the final round of the Nota Begay III Junior Golf National Championship. The golf course has been in absolutely perfect condition for the very best junior players in the world. Incredible effort by the entire staff to get this golf course ready, considering they've been hit hard by two very strong hurricanes in 2020. Not a cloud in the sky, 50 degrees this morning, 70 degrees in the afternoon. Wind has been a part of the story all week with gusts in the opening round over 40 miles per hour. Four different tournaments going on today. The boys 13 and under, girls 13 and under, boys 14 to 18, and girls 14 to 18. Welcome to Kashadi Pines at the Kashada Resort. I'm Ryan Bird, joined by four-time PGA Tour winner Nota Begay III. Nota, this journey began in July. Over 3,000 participants, just 36 holes away from playing on Golf Channel and making it all the way to Kashada, all during a global pandemic. It turned out in year one, this was the largest series in the country and the truest form of an open junior golf championship. Why was it important for you to be involved with it? Well, just critically important to provide an opportunity for kids across the country, regardless of where you're from, where you play, who your coach is, to have a chance to play in a bona fide national championship. There were no restrictions on entry, only an interest in playing competitive golf. And so what that produced is participants, over 3,000 players, but down to this final field with many of these kids already going to top division one programs in the country. We're gonna see such great talent over this next couple hours and it's going to really showcase what we're all about as an event. Walking with our final groups today, Lisa Cornwell and PGA Tour winner Jim Gallagher Jr. Jim is at 11 with Ohio State commit Jacob Tarkani. Kind of land, like to land this about a foot or so out just in the fringe. Going with a little bit open with the club face. Beautiful. That's the shot I thought he'd try to hit. That's a good shot there. After 36 holes, Tarkani was tied for the lead. Tough opening nine, gets a couple back here. Needed something good to happen. They get the round going back in the right direction. Gets it here, knocks down the Eagle three. Let's get back out live now to 11 and our leader, Brendan Valdez. Got about 15 feet for birdie. Had to fall a little bit to his right. It's a good aggressive putt. Just did quite get it far enough left. So it's a par for Valdez. Meanwhile, Byung Ho Lee, this is a chance to tie Brendan at the top. Great look from just behind the hole here, coming down with the grain, maybe a tad of right to left and boom. Back to Jim now, as now Nick Dunlop has a chance to make it three at the top. 
great opportunity here. I don't think there's much in. I think if there's anything, you play some breaks, maybe left center. Just a solid stroke. Nice putt for birdie. So back to back birdies for Nick Dunlap. Here at 10 and 11, making a run. Seven, 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 three at the top in the 14 to 18 boys. The girls now are at 18 with Mia Hammond, chance for birdie. Class of 2026 here, Ryan, and certainly turning some heads with her performance this week. And in the clubhouse at four under par. Let's take a look at some of the highlights. Some amazing golf swings we've seen in the girls 13 and under like Haley Hahn. And just what you see here on the second shot, Ryan, just really getting everything out of her motion and pr producing an efficient and effective shot right there. Yeah, that led to birdie. More Han now at 15. Again, coming out from just slightly off the fairway here. Caught a nice lie in that bunker, able to get enough club on it to produce the appropriate yardage, and that is a professional level shot right there. No doubt about it. Honorine Nabuda Ferry for birdie at 12. Another great look at just how fast these greens are coming from just on the top side of the slope and just gets it to trickle over the edge. Nabuta Ferry two under on the day and in the clubhouse at four under. Haley Hahn, an incredible week, finishing at 18. Coming in from just behind the hole, hit a very nice approach, just a touch long, but nonetheless going to have an easy tap in. And 73, 68, 68 for Haley Hahn. Second place, but a great week at Cachata. Back to the 14 to 18 girls, Noda and Isabella McCauley, this to tie the lead. Uh, coming into the final stretch of holes, Ryan needs to try and do something to close the gap with Stevens in there tight. And it's a par for McCauley to stay at five under. Let's go now to 14. Gracie McGovern, a great week to make it to Cachata. Yeah, interesting goal for Gracie. Wants to help teach young junior golfers, and uh, she helps them learn how to make putts like that. They'll uh, improve their own games. Back live to 12, Allen Stevens, chance to grow the lead to two. And it's a two horse race at the top. Stevens and McCauley gonna be a fun back nine. The Nota Begay the third Junior Golf National Championship is brought to you by Cachata Resort and Hotel, Louisiana's best bet. Powered by Wilson, innovating the game of golf since 1914. And by Amarin, insure confidently. Registration for the 2021 Nota Begay Junior Golf National Championship is open now. Sign up by January 1st to skip local qualifying. And go right to the regional finals. 36 holes away from making it here to the national championship. You could be playing on Golf Channel too. Go ahead, register now. Five weeks before the start of the opening round, Hurricane Delta brought high winds and widespread flooding to Kinder, Louisiana. All told, Delta dropped 20 inches of rain on the local area, and Kashadi Pines Golf Course was underwater for six days. I'm extremely proud of my team. To be able to make this course in the condition that it's in is unbelievable. After what they've been through, after what the course has been through, Getting this place all put back together in time for this event uh, uh, took every bit of a minor miracle to make that happen. Ryan, so much credit goes out to the Cachada Tribe of Louisiana for getting the resort back up on its feet, but also providing valuable disaster relief to first responders and the local community. Three-way tie at the top, 14 to 18 boys. Let's get to 12. So we're playing 152 yards. What location, just 17 on four from the right. That's a solid looking golf swing and a good looking shot right here. Beautiful shot. I like this kid's action. Uh, how do you not like that action, Jimmy? Valdez and Dunlap going to see a lot of each other upcoming for the next few years in the SEC. Now to Valdez. I like his routine. Sees the shot he wants to hit. A little waggle. Fire. It's also on a good line. Guys are good. Great looking shot there. Not being thrown off by Dunlap's ball in tight Valdez answers. 
Now, two holes ahead, Noda, is Byung-ho Lee, who is tied with Dunlop and Valdez. And Lee at the drivable par for 14th, 308 yards. I really like what they've done with this particular hole, moving the tees up, creating a little bit of opportunity for these young players to make an aggressive play with the driver. And you never know, sometimes they end up pulling off a great shot. And Lee will have that for Eagle. Remember, he's two holes ahead of Valdez and Dunlop. Let's get to the girls 13 and under. What a day, what a week, Noda. It has been for Yana Wilson. Well, really putting on a show, staying aggressive here, taking advantage of those long tee shots and accurate, taking the second shot from the fairway and doing exactly what you have to do, Ryan. She took the water out of play, ball landed in the middle, safely behind the green now with a pretty straightforward up and down for a birdie. Well, we've seen very few players go for the green in two at 18 because of the water there. Wilson has all that length, Noda, and taking advantage of it all week. She really has. You look at her uh, bio here. One of the interesting things that you have to see is the 2019 Drive, Chip, and Putt champion at Augusta National. Back to the 14 to 18 girls. Lisa at 13. Really good hole location for today's final round. Macaulay to play first. This from 109. That bunker right in the front of the green. You want to make sure to carry it. Oh, and she just barely did. Lisa, a little struggle with her distance. Second shot coming up short again. Now Felchi from 96 yards. Maybe a little bit of an advantage watching McCauley's just clear it. You can bet this one will get there, and it does. Unique swing there, but able to produce the appropriate yardage. Boys 13 and under. All right, Nicholas Gross now at 90 yards. Just phenomenal golf. It's been really amazing to watch this. Comes in a little bit lower, needs a little bit of a forward kick, gets it. Okay, another chance for birdie. Boy, this young man putting on a clinic this week. Indestructible, let's get to the girls 14 to 18. Now the leader, Stevens, one yard closer, 95. You can bet she'd like to copy what Felchie just did. Throwing it past the hole and stopping it there. Much lower ball flight. It's going to need to lock up. Very nice. Let's get to 18 where Iana Wilson, we showed you, has this left for Eagle Nota. And this is coming from a bit of a dicey lie here. Was uh, walking on the back part of that green. Just has to try and run it through the fringe and... My word, that is just a well-played shot. Uh, no surprise why she's winning this golf tournament. 12 under par, we'll have that to get to 13. This is Sterling Hurd in the boys 13 and under. He's five under this for birdie at 17. See if he can get this ball to come out running smoothly. See it hobble just a little bit as it crept through the fringe. Might have just slightly knocked it offline. And he would tap that in for par. Back to the boys, 14 to 18. Three-way tie at the top. Nick Dunlap now for his birdie. I'm going to say it's about 10 feet. Might go a little left. Never got that quite on the line he wanted. That's a good four feet by the hole. So great drama there. Not great drama here. It is Nicholas Gross lapping the field, Noda. Well, it's the game within the game for Nicholas and trying to just figure out how to stay focused, not to get overly uh, distracted with a big lead, but uh, does not seem to be affecting him in any way, shape, or form. And the lead grows to 13 for Nicholas Gross. Back to Valdez now at 12 for the lead. Brandon now for his birdie. I'm going to say maybe five feet. Got it. That gets him to minus eight. Yeah, in the final stretch, and Valdez holding up to the pressure. Girls 14 to 18. McCauley needs this. Tell you what, another foot for McCauley, and that would have been just about perfect. Clutch. She is feeling 
the momentum with that putter right now. That's just raw emotion. McCauley within one of the lead for the moment. Let's get to the boys, 14 to 18. Lee for the lead. Eagle at the drivable par four. What a great opportunity. Just never got that online. So he'll have that for birdie to tie Valdez. Meanwhile, Stevens, we just saw McCauley make birdie, so this to answer Noda. Oh, what a great chance here. Just going to work to her left. Just has to get it started on the top side of the hole. And just pulled that putt. Was offline the whole way. So the plot thickens at 13. McCauley pulls within one of Allen Stevens. You see her father, Joe, played in the NBA, but after his NBA career, what did he do? He went back to law school and is now a magistrate judge in the city of Houston. Back to 13, Nicole Fauci for birdie. See if she can pay off that beautiful approach shot. Just inside about six feet there. Might have gleaned a little bit of info off of Stevens and yes. A nice looking birdie for Fauci. Meanwhile at 18, wrapping up the girls 13 and under and what a day it has been for the Wilsons as Yana Wilson, another chance for birdie. Ryan, let's call it signed, sealed, and delivered for Wilson. So she caps off an incredible week at Cachata with a 67, goes 65, 67, a big hug from dad, and the winner of the girls 13 and under, Nota Begay the third Junior Golf National Championship. 27 girls in all competing, making it to Cachata in the girls 13 and under. Yana Wilson is the class of the field. Uh, swing as hard as you can. Good luck. Get after it. So we can look at a 286 carry. So you're moving it. The big thing we're promoting down here is our staff model golf ball. The great thing about Wilson, the great thing about some of our staff model products is that we do have uh, some of the best players in the world playing them. Uh, we may not have all the exposure that some of these guys are used to on a regular basis, and that gives us a chance to, to connect those two dots. It felt free. It didn't feel like you were hitting a ball. It just felt like it was all just one motion. Yeah, the contact with the ball, it just feels amazing. But nothing's more exciting than seeing kids hit a, hit a product and talk about how much they like it. So those are the feedbacks that really get you charged up when you're in charge of a golf company. I've always kind of been a longer hitter, which has been the strong suit of my game. My winning drive was really cool. I, I felt really pumped up. I knew I would hit far during that competition. The numbers got longer than the range, and that's always a challenge. It just reinforced that, that, that there's some really good young players out here. I just swung as hard as I could and put it right down the middle. 357, which surprised me a little bit. Something I'll remember for a long time. Fourteen to eighteen-year-old long drive champ Lance Christensen had more than a long drive to get to Kashadi Pines. Growing up on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation in rural South Dakota made perseverance the hallmark of his game. We're one of the poorest counties in, in all of America. I didn't have a golf course growing up from where I was. Forty-five miles was the nearest golf course, and then uh, if we just learned how to make a driving range. We'd put holes out there, or fence posts, or something like that. That's where I learned how to play. So why drive 45 miles one way just to practice and play? A lot of people ask me, why would you want to do that or why don't you just move? It was hard at, at some points in my life and I asked myself those same questions, but uh, and that 45 mile drive made me who I am. Last year, Lance won the South Dakota Individual State Golf Championship and that put him on the map. He and his father put over 10,000 miles on the car this summer, going to various junior tournaments with a goal most golfers take for granted. I just want to get that chance to be by a golf course every day and then just improve, just improve as much as I can and, uh, and we'll see what happens after that. 
A young man from the Oglala Lakota tribe that has had limited access to the game but has turned it into something worth taking a look at. 357 yard drive, gotta believe a lot of coaches are looking into Lance Christensen. Everyone knows Yana Wilson, she's our winner. We'll hear from the 13 and under champ when we come back. Koshati Pines at Koshata opened in 2002. They've been a great host this week, Noda. And what a place to play, Ryan. These beautifully manicured 419 Bermuda fairways, the fast and true Tiff Eagle Bermuda greens can get up to speeds over 11 this week. You see the shapes and the water features, 54 bunkers, 48 acres of water hazards just presents an all around test. And Brent LeBlanc and his staff done a great job. Back to the 14 to 18 boys. Biungo lead for the lead. Takes advantage of that beautiful tee shot. Easy three. So two at the top at eight under. Dunlop is one back. Boys 13 and under. No one close to Nicholas Gross. Can he finish it off at 18? Well, trying to put the ribbon on this one, Ryan. And you see that water feature that's protecting the right side of this green, but... Nicholas playing very smart, playing safely to the left side of this green. And adding to what is already an incredible resume for a youngster from Downington, Pennsylvania, and putting on a number note at 18 under that is going to be tough to beat in the coming years. And yeah, you're going to find this kid on a lot of people's radar moving forward. Speaking on the radar note, Matt Doyle won the New York Regional Turning Stone by six shots. He has certainly been on the radar. Here he is for birdie at 15. Just never quite got that online, Ryan. Just not quite enough break played. Great week this week for Matt Doyle, and what a story it is. Matt Doyle is a story of grit and determination. At two and a half years old, he was diagnosed with leg calf perthes disease a childhood condition that occurs when blood supply to the hip is interrupted and the bone begins to die. First response was, what the heck is this? I mean, we, we had never heard of it before. I didn't know anything about it. It's really affected me because I can't really play other sports. Uh, I can't run, or I'm not supposed to really walk long distances. Now golf is the only sport he can play. Matt has an exemption to use a golf cart during competition, but that doesn't mean it's any easier. Just the mental toughness of golf on top of the fact that I have to get through the physical toughness of my hip condition, it's, it's tough to juggle, but I think I've done a decent job so far. Matt will be teeing it up for Elon University next season, and that is simply an inspiration. He, he's not somebody with a disability that can play golf. He plays golf and he just happens to have this disability. It makes me so proud to, to be his dad and same with his mom. My condition's not very common, it's pretty rare. And so if I can really see anybody out there that picks up the game of golf because of me, it just makes me feel great. And I had the chance to play with Casey Martin who went all the way to the Supreme Court to battle for kids like Matt to have this opportunity to compete at a high level while he's still using a cart. And it's great to see what he's done, how he's overcome it, and he's become quite a fine golfer. And a great shot here at 16. He'll have that to get to five under. Still part of the story is Matt Doyle. Boys 13 and under, Sterling Hurd, five under, laying up at 18. Yeah, you see the majority of players coming in here with a wedge. Very tough to hit this green in two. Kind of sawed it off just a little, trying to take a little bit of off of it, and boom, beautiful distance. Uh, Heard will have a chance to get to six under. Let's stay in the group with Patman Malcolm. Okay, this is not where you want to be attacking this whole location from. From the primary rough, going to be tough to get enough spin on it to control the rollout. See how he deals with this very tough situation. And see right there, just a little bit of a rollout carries it just off the edge of the green. And he'll have that to get to five under, 14 to 18. A lot of drama at the top of the leaderboard. Dunlop now at 13. 
Nick Dunlap now laid it up back here for a good angle. It really narrows up with the pal area on the left off the tee, so laid up to here. And that's a little bit long, probably 25 feet by the hole, but it's just hard to get it close from that distance. Nick won out of the lead. Uh, played a lot of baseball growing up. Didn't really pick the game of golf up till he was 11, but it didn't take long for him to capture everyone's attention. Now our leader, Valdez. Sitting up pretty good out of this rough ball, a little below his feet, so that'll push it a little bit to the right, even with this shorter club. It's coming in nice and high, but that might be a little long. Not by much, though. Pretty good shot. He's aggressive. I like the way he plays. He stays to his game. And Brendan grew up a driver in a three-wood from Golf Channel Studios, and he won the drive, chip, and putt at Augusta National Nota. Just a great disposition about this kid. Goes about it with a wonderful attitude, and I think you're seeing it reflective in just the, how the style of golf that he has. Speaking of style, Nicholas Gross has showed a lot of style this week. 18 under, finishing up at 18. Coming from just hole high, took all the trouble out of play on the second, and really just piecing together what, what has become an exceptional week of golf for Nicholas. And what a week it has been for everyone at Cachada. And Yana Wilson will be receiving one of those baskets, standing by with Lisa. Ryan, what an impressive performance by this young player. Yana, first of all, congratulations. I was out there with you uh, most of the day. You've already done some incredible things in your young playing career. Last year, stepped in the winner's circle and drive, chip, and putt. But you just told me that this one's a little bit bigger. How much does it mean to you? It means a lot to me, man. This, this course, playing on this course in these conditions were absolutely amazing. And it, it was just awesome playing out here today and this win means a lot to me. I love how aggressive you continued to play. I'm sure you knew you had a lead, but out there with your dad on the bag. I talked to him after the round. He said when the cameras are out, you seem to shine. What is it about a player like you who enjoys the spotlight and enjoys the pressure? Honestly, we, I wasn't trying to play conservative today. I was just trying to attack and keep attacking and I just kept trying to go for everything and just not play conservative, I guess, not play safe. So. Well, you're a fantastic young player. Maybe you can follow in Nota Begay the third's footsteps and be a multiple winner on the professional level. Right now, though, enjoy this one. Congratulations. Right, thank you so much. One champion crown, three to go. Let's get to 18. Boys 13 and under final group. Sterling Hurd finishing off a great week. Well, and at any level, it's about conversion. See if he can pay off that beautiful wedge shot that he hit in and just can't get it to creep over the edge. And shot 66 in round two, and as you can see in the 13 and under, caddies on the bag with the Ameren bibs. They've been a big part of why we're here this week, Noda. Oh, they sure have. It's a Native American-owned company that provides insurance and business solutions to tribal nations across the country. Their CEO, Derek Valdo, is from the Pueblo of Acoma. He is an avid golfer and was quick to answer the call when asked to support this event. And one of my favorite parts, as you saw Pat Man Malcolm hugging his dad, was seeing the caddies uh, for both divisions in the girls and boys 13 and under. And no one had a better seat than Nicholas Gross's father as Gross put on an exhibition 18 under. This a chance to get it to 19 and 63. Nota, he settles for a 65-64 in the last two days, 18 under. Not sure we'll see anybody beat that in a long time. Looks like dad might be holding back a few tears. It's very few instances in your career where the game opens up to you and allows you to just go out there and pretty much do everything you wanted. And Nicholas certainly had one of those weeks this week. So the final touches for Nicholas Gross, the first ever 13 and under champion in the Nota Begay the third Junior Golf National Championship. As you said, dad getting emotional with the Ameren bib on something that uh, he certainly will never forget as Nicholas Gross finishes at 18 under par.
and will forever be the first winner in the boys 13 and under at the Nota Begay, the third junior golf national championship. Welcome back to the Nota Begay the third junior golf national championship. We have drama brewing in the boys 14 to 18. Nick Dunlap probably got about 40 feet coming down the slope. I'd go a little bit to his left. He laid it up so far back he really couldn't get it this whole location. So maybe a little conservative off the tee, but play your game. All right, so pretty good speed. Have about two feet left of par. It's just such a tough driving hole. You're just going to kind of play the shots you think he gives yourself a chance to make a birdie. Dunlop one out. Isabella McCauley one out. McCauley from just off the edge. We've talked about how good her pace has been. So easy to leave that one where she did. Quick tap in for her par. Back to Valdez co-leading for birdie. Brandon's got about seven feet for birdie. Ought to go just maybe right edge the most. No, oh, just barely missed left. I think that Reed kind of tricked him. I think he hit it the way he wanted to. Valdez and Lee tied for the lead at eight. Girls 14 to 18. Allen Stevens one shot lead over McCauley. This would make it two. Yeah, Stevens should move from left to right. It's so easy for that to happen. You watch a player right before you miss it on the low side. And you're telling yourself, don't do the same. So the lead stays at one. Girls 14 to 18. Stevens by one over McCauley. Back to the boys at 15. Now, uh, this is a guy I've had my eye on all week from my hometown of Albuquerque, New Mexico, hailing out of Cibola High School, 5A state champ last year in the state of New Mexico and having a great run this week. That's Aiden Kraft. Now Daniel Choi at 15. Oh, this young man's father, one of my favorite people to play golf with during my PGA Tour career, K.J. Choi. And uh, the son following in the footsteps of the old man. And Daniel Choi showing some great talent this week. He'll be taking those talents to Duke. His father is an eight-time winner on the PGA Tour. And Daniel's been an eyewitness to his success. But for Daniel, baseball was his choice until he made the move to golf at age 10, the sport that made his father, KJ, famous. And I guess that was like the stage where you, know, you kind of play everything and you kind of figure out what you like, what you don't. And that's when eventually we switched over to golf. Personality is very positive. So uh, I say never give up you know, or keep going and play golf. Future is more practicing and you know, more positive in the confidence. I hopefully is a, he is a, a great in the player. So I keep going and uh, watching him and help him. I guess it's just been a really good bond between us. He tries to travel with me to every event he can, and uh, you know, he sacrificed a lot. He sacrificed playing time to come and be with me, which is something I'm very appreciative of. I'd say it's just kind of like a bond unlike any other. A great story. Let's go live now to Daniel Choi at 15. And I know KJ and visiting with him on the range this week really takes his role as a father seriously, trying to pass on all that knowledge to his son, Daniel. Just maybe trying to get him to hit that one putt just a little harder. Uh, so close for Daniel Choi. Let's go back now to the winner's circle where Jim's standing by with our 13 and under champion. Thanks, Ryan. I got Nicholas Gross, our 13 and under winner. I was talking to your dad, Sean, and he was mentioning he thought the fifth hole second shot you hit in there was kind of key to kind of getting some stuff going even though you had a big lead coming in today yeah that was that was huge because I mean at that point I was even through four missed a couple opportunities um, and just needed something to get going um, and had a had a shot under a tree where I had to kind of maneuver around it and I was able to get it get it on uh, and make the putt which was 
really key to get the, the birdie run started. Pretty different year this year, but this is a pretty memorable week for What do you take from this week and how you played? Um, I just, more confidence with the lead. Um, and it's just another, another tournament that proves that to myself that I can play at a high level. Um, and it's just a boost of confidence for every, every tournament from here on out. All right, well, great playing 18 under, big win. Uh, Nicholas Gross, that's your winner. Back to you, Ryan. Thanks, Jim. Thanks, Nicholas. This just a moment ago, Aiden Kraft. Beautiful approach shot just behind the hole. This is going to work to his right. Aiden just didn't quite get the right read on that one. Back live now to 15, Noda, with our co-leader, Byung Ho Lee, his second at 15. Beautifully positioned here for Lee, coming right in from the fairway. He's going to be able to take dead aim. Clean contact, beautiful divot. See if he's dialed it in. And he sure has, Ryan. Right. Byung Ho Lee will have that to take the solo lead at 9 under. Also at 15, Drew Wilson, who's had a heck of a week. Again, you can just see how wonderfully manicured these Bermuda 419 fairways are. You get in the fairway with a wedge in your hand, you can put some control on the golf ball. So a couple great shots, Noda, at 15, where Lee will have a putt for the outright lead over Valdez, as all these players enjoying a great week. Cachada has a legacy of success and has been here for quite a number of years. It's the best kept secret in the, you know, Southwest Louisiana. Cachada Tribe of Louisiana fits a very nice niche in this market, creates a lot of employment for the surrounding areas. It's very financially impactful for the, not just the, the tribal community, but certainly the extended community as well. Time would tell them, cause I know I prove them wrong. I was made to be a legend for the kingdom, for the throne. This is the moment I've waited for all of my life. This is my legacy, this is my moment to rise. Born to win. And it is getting to be winning time here at Cachada. Our leaders at the Wilson Drivable 14th. It's hole 308, so it's very reachable, but the wind's actually back into the face a little bit more than it was earlier this morning. Well, Valdez has a club hit speed right around 120, so reaching the green, not an issue here. Now back to Lee Noda, this putt for the outright lead. Yeah, if you have designs on winning a golf tournament, these are the putts you got to knock down. Oof. That's a big miss for Lee. He'll stay in a tie with Valdez, but certainly he's been making those throughout the week. Back to our final group at 14. Nick Dunlap will be next. He's committed to go to Alabama. Brendan's going to go to Auburn, so this is quite a little rivalry going here. Yeah, it's going out to the right, and it's not quite turning. He'll have some green to work with. Just depends on the line. It'll be over in the rough, but that's not quite what he was trying to get at. And that's a typical miss you'll see right there, Ryan. Dunlap does uh, rely on a little bit of a left to right, gets a little bit behind him, and then it just goes a little further right. Not a great position, though. And we saw a great shot by Drew Wilson. Now this for birdie. Uh, this is as easy as they get. Inside right, just give it a touch. Beautiful bird. 
So Wilson takes it to four under. It is Valdez and Lee at the top. Dunlap one back. Kraft, Hassel, Hari, and Doyle two back. A lot of drama at Cachada. Staff Model R golf ball is made without coatings on it. So this ball will give you better performance and more stable performance in the wind. The tackiness of the cover of this ball without the coatings gives you an increased coefficient of friction, which results in more spin rate on high lofted clubs and most noticeable on approach shots. And I hit the shot and it, so when I saw it taking off right towards the pin, I was really excited. I thought maybe it could go in. And then when I saw it get really close, I, I just was so excited. Obviously when players are coming to tournaments, they're not really here to demo and trial. So what we were just trying to do is find nice, simple ways to get an interaction with them. It, it felt really nice off the club face. Oh! It felt like it had a, quite a bit of spin and pretty good control with the ball. So. Definitely one of the best balls I've ever hit. Having a chance to get this many young people in one place to play the ball is just an outstanding opportunity. Uh, so many of these participants raving about the new Wilson golf ball. Let's get out to 14. Dunlap will be next. Probably got about 30 yards. It's a really thin line. I really want to get your hands forward on this. Kind of hit a little bit of a lower type shot. There is a tree limb behind it that could affect the backswing, but I don't think he's going to take it back that far. I think that's why he dropped it where it was. If it's real sandy. Got to get clean contact to get this ball to land at the appropriate spot. Oh, very good. Great shot. We'll have that for Birdie to tie the lead to the girls. McCauley after another perfect drive. Pretty close to 100 yards. Sliding it down a little lower. Plenty of spin on it. Good shot. Hole high. Back to 14 now. Brandon Valdez will be next. He's driven it just short of the green here. He's going to go with putter. It's always a little bit easier off these lies this time of year, the fall. This for two. Oh my goodness. Three out of four holes. He has had it just on the edge. That's a great putt. He'll have that save for easy birdie. Indeed, little tap in for the solo lead for our Orlando Regional Champion. And Ryan, I know you had particular interest in one other qualifier out of the Orlando qualifying event, and he actually rode in the car home with you, your son, Caden. Yeah, it was uh, finished second place. A great thrill for him to be here at Cachada this week. And really put up a great performance this week, Ryan. 11 birdies, if not for a couple of mistakes, would have really pushed himself up that leaderboard. Just demonstrated he belonged here with some of the elite talent in this country. Now let's get back to the girls 14 to 18. Alan Stevens, our leader. It's another one that you expect she's going to take in a little lower. This is, has a little too much heat on it, though. And the door is open for McCauley. We see Stevens here a little bit deep on that approach shot. Now we head over to 14. All right, Nick Dunlop has this for three, and it's, it's not quite must make, but it's definitely an important putt. That is a great up and down for Birdie here at the 14th. So Dunlap pulls within one, as is freshman Byung Ho Lee. Ryan, I got to tell you, this is a good-looking golf swing. He's class of 2024, so I know some of you coaches out there are kind of wishing and wanting, and for good reason, this kid can play. But trouble here, Noda. Missed the short birdie putt at 15, now in trouble at 16. This now at 18, Gabriel Hansel-Hari. He plays out of the IMG Academy in Bradenton, Florida. A great final round, and he'll play his college golf at Oregon. 
had a chance to visit with Casey Martin about Gabriel, and he's excited to get him to Eugene, thinks he has a lot of upside for growth and couldn't think of a better coach to work under than Casey Martin at University of Oregon 2016 NCAA champions. So a great final round, Noda, has Gabriel Hansel-Hari flying up the leaderboard with a 67. He got to Cachada via the last chance qualifier and now finds himself on the first page of the leaderboard, a leaderboard that has Valdez by one over Dunlap and Lee. Real drama, Nota girls 14 to 18. Stevens a one-shot lead over McCauley. Stevens in trouble at 15. Yeah, a little deep with the approach. She has a little green to work with, but the green is working away from her. Not an easy shot, but makes some good work of it. That a moment ago, she'll have that to save her par. Meanwhile, live now with McCauley to take the lead. It's a big putt for McCauley. This one goes in to the top of the leaderboard. So easy late in the day with these shadows rolling in to leave these putts short. McCauley got here via Minnesota. And several colleges, including Virginia Tech, interested in the Minnesota product. And now Stevens has a chance to avoid Dropping a shot here with a nice conversion on the save. And keeps the lead at one. Steven stays at seven, McCauley one back. Meanwhile, Chloe Kovaleski, a 13-year-old playing up a division, Nota. Yeah, just really uh, had the uh, interest in playing in the older division and uh, it's, I think paying off some dividends for her. She is uh, finding herself on that first page, uh, should be very proud. One of the longer hitters in the field, Chloe representing herself uh, just fine. One shot lead in that division. Coming up a little bit later in the show, we will reveal the regional sites for the 2021 Nota Begay the Third Junior Golf National Championship. Registration is now opened at JGNC.org. Registration for the 2021 Nota Begay Junior National Championship is open now. Sign up by January 1st to skip local qualifying. And go right to regional finals. 36 holes away from making it here to the national championship. You could be on Golf Channel too. Go ahead, sign up now. Tiger Woods. Definitely Tiger. His iron plays so good. It's like he can almost will his putts in. He's very consistent and that's how I want to be when I'm older as a golfer. Justin Thomas. Here's Justin Thomas. Uh, Matthew Wolf. Hey, Ricky Fowler. It's Rory McIlroy. Amy Olsen on the LPGA. Minji Lee. It's Lexi Thompson. DJ. I like kind of how far he is it. I've always loved Jordan Spieth. He's such a great influence like in golf and out of golf. I like Xander Schauffele a lot. Phil Mickelson because I love his 64 degree and how he shapes a lot of his golf shots. Seve Ballesteros because of his creativity on the course when he was playing. My cousin Tony Finau, he set such a high example and I want to be like him someday. Sofia Popov, I met her in March and she's just been such a huge inspiration to me. To watch her win a major this year, that was a, that was a huge deal. I have two favorite golfers, Nota Begay because he's the, the first Native American to really to really get out there and, and, and do it. And then Tiger Woods, he, he changed the game for minorities like Nota did. How about that, NV3? Well, great to see Lance. He's such a, a great steward of his community. Starts his own uh, junior golf camps there on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation, really trying everything that he can to give back to his community. A lot of drama brewing out on the golf course. Boys 14 to 18, Biungo Lee for par. This was after that poor oh. tee shot and fist pump there. This means a lot to these guys. Really hanging in there, but time is running out. It's got to make something happen toward the end. Huge save for Lee, back to 15. Brandon Valdez now from 95 yards. It's just a sand wedge for him. I expect this ball to be within 10 feet, as good as his wedge game's been. Came in a little bit steep. Needs to probably spin, and it does. Ah, okay, that's a good shot, about 10 feet. Brendan, a one-shot lead. Brendan up there close for birdie. 
just one back. He needs to go ahead and keep flying at these hole locations. Let's make some birdies. That's the fun part. It's been fun to watch these guys, especially this nine. Got that just a little chunky. Actually turned out okay. So both 14 to 18 groups, boys and girls, really starting to heat up at the top. Back at the girls on the tee at 16. There is a mound right in the middle part of the screen, about 25 feet short of the hole. If you hit that, you're going to get an extra kick, but this has plenty of heat on. It needs to get down. Tough first bounce, but fortunate not to kick even further. Continue the run out. Now McCauley just one back, looking to take advantage. Middle part of the screen is absolutely perfect. She's going after it too. So all three shots long here. A moment ago, Jeffries at Torski at 18. Yeah, coming from just behind the green, this guy headed to Austin to play for Coach John Fields at University of Texas. And I know Coach Fields can't wait to get this guy on campus to help out that Longhorn team. Meanwhile, Matt Doyle met him earlier in the program. He'll tap in for a 68 on this final round in the clubhouse as Doyle at five under. Satorski noted to clean up what's been a great week. It really has, especially for a lot of these players that have worked their way up the leaderboard, going to some of the best programs in America, and it just kind of shows you that there's an element of quality here that allows them to sort of separate themselves from the field, and um, it's great to see so many talented players in the field. Let's go to 17 now. Drew Wilson in a fairway bunker. Bunker so finely manicured. Look at that nice clean lie, picks it off. Textbook form there. I mean, couldn't do it any better. So Wilson will have that to get to five under with two holes to play. Meanwhile, Biongo Lee, he's been our leader at points today. One off the lead, he two in the fairway bunker. Boy, has he had his fair share of chances today. See if he can create another one here. Not quite the, uh, the outcome that he needed in this particular situation. So things winding down here at Cachada. Valdez by one over Dunlap and Lee. The Nota Begay, the third Junior Golf National Championship, is brought to you by Golf Tech. Improve your game today. Amarin, insure confidently. And by the Hurricane Junior Golf Tour, powered by the Junior Golf Hub. The Junior Golf Hub is a platform designed for young athletes, their parents and college coaches to really kind of connect. It's really that place where we want uh, everyone to go to and, and have a trusted source of information about that junior golf journey. Our overall mission is to create a positive impact on humanity through the game, our landscape of golf. And being inclusive, it starts really early. And I think getting ki more kids in the game is really important. Notice vision of having that national championship where anybody can qualify and anybody can make it to the national championship was very appealing to our overall strategy, which is how we help that 99th percentile of players and families out there that may you know, be looking and seeking those opportunities. The Nota Begay, the third Junior Golf National Championship is an open qualifying series for boys and girls ages 8 to 18. Televised on Golf Channel, the championship takes place at Cachati Pines at the Cachata Resort in Kinder, Louisiana. It's time for you to get noticed. Back to the uh, 17th hole here as we watch Lee try and figure out this third shot. You might be wondering if he's aware of his position on the leaderboard, each player was administered a real-time scoring device by ShotStat that allows them to know where exactly they are in real time with the rest of the field. Dunlap now to tie the lead. Got it. Nick Dunlap goes to nine under, tied with Valdez atop the leaderboard. 
I've got a group of about six or seven guys that are on the PGA Tour. Seb Straka, Trey Mullinex, um, and a couple other Bama guys that I play with week in and week out. So it's good for me to learn from them and compete with them at the same time. I ask them a lot of questions, mainly uh, just obviously what they work on, but a lot of just kind of their thought process with how much they play and think about certain things. So certainly Dunlap Nota uh, already practicing like a pro. This is Valdez to take the lead back. Dunlap putting the heat on. Valdez not able to respond, so we are in deadlock right now. So both players at nine under. Well, this is Drew Wilson for birdie. Yeah, you see him coming up just at over a little tiny rise there and uh, reads that to perfection with all those long shadows in the afternoon. Back to the girls, Alan Stevens. No hesitation with Alan here on what type of shot she wants to play. Has a good lie. Question is how far she wants to carry this. Well played from there. Certainly not making things easier on herself as she has to deal with these par putts. Back to 16, this is crucial for Lee. Yeah, these last two holes not difficult. Valdez or Dunlap is gonna play them at least one under, so um, it's gonna be pretty grim for Lee to make a comeback. Does have the par five 18th, but now two back as we go back to McCauley. McCauley, as usual, leaving a flag stick in from behind this. It looks like it has a slight right to left movement in it. Just needed some more speed. Short again, Noda. Yes, when you're playing from behind, you've got to get the ball to the hole. Aiden Kraft, my guy from Albuquerque, New Mexico. What a great week for him. Not on anybody's radar collegiately. And I think with his play this week, should get some attention. Stevens now for par at 16. Another big par putt for Stevens. She's had her nerves tested today and so far has been exceptional. Another good one right in the center of the cup. Well, Lisa Allen, Stevens answering the bell each and every time. The lead stays at one over Isabella McCauley. Many in contention to win their championship today experience success on a national stage, including the drive, chip, and putt at Augusta National. The first edition of the Nota Begay the Third Junior Golf National Championship is honored to join the illustrious list of national championships and, more importantly, grow the game. Our resources that we use from Quixada Casino Resort helps our, our children, our youth, uh, if they want to go um, educate themselves after high school. It also helps to elevate their careers. Native American saying is we prepare for seven generations and so we're just paving that road so that they can become our leaders one day. And simply put Noda, we would not be here without the Cachada tribe support. Well I can't really thank them enough for believing in us and believing in this event, uh, coming through with the support and just the focus that they've maintained on their heritage and on their traditional clan system is remarkable and it's something that they're trying to pass on, like sh she said, to uh, those next generations. And giving these incredible athletes a great canvas to do their work on, that was Dunlap. His tee shot at 16, tied for the lead. This is Ava Merrill in the 14 to 18. She had a hole in one this week, Noda. Well, what an exciting thing to happen in an event like this. And uh, I know she was excited about it, but it wasn't her first, Brian. She's made quite a few in her career and uh, with shots like that going right over the flag sticks, there's probably more to come. 
has this for birdie. And just leaves it on the doorstep. So a tap in par, 75, 70, 71 for Ava Merrill who qualified out of the Atlanta Regional. Gotta believe we will see her back here next year. Back to our co-leader, Brendan Valdez at the 16th tee, tied with his playing partner Dunlap at nine under. Just a few holes left to decide the championship. It's a little lower flight out right to left. Needs a turnover just a tad. It's all the way back here as well. So for the first time, Brendan Valdez in jeopardy of losing his lead. Back to Lisa. Macaulay's tee shot just barely in the rough here at 17 on the left side. 114 yards. Good lie. Solid strike. Kevin in nice and high too should blend softly. Not soft enough. Really unfortunate she hit that so well. Trail Stevens by one. Nota, the youngest player really in contention in the 14 to 18. Biungo Lee and things a moment ago really starting to fall apart the last five holes. Maybe the cameras just uh, became a little too much. Well, I like that play though. He was staying aggressive, trying to make a big swing and make something happen. He knew he needed an eagle, ended up losing it out to the right and in the water. But nonetheless, you can't fault this young player for staying aggressive and trying to win the golf tournament. I will never do that. And I uh, applaud him for making that effort. And just a freshman. Uh, playing with the likes of Valdez and Dunlap, who've already committed to the SEC. Back to Stevens now, leader in a fairway bunker, seven under, one up on McCauley. Ryan, she's not making things easier on herself. She's made a handful of great par putts, and now this very difficult fairway bunker shot and just doesn't quite get enough club on the ball. Coming up about a club short, so still going to have some work to do to save a par, but McCauley not putting a lot of pressure on either. Uh, both in a bit of trouble. Back now to Brendan. Second shot a bit unlucky here. Sitting down just a little bit here. I think he's got Landis just on the green and let it release. Something like that. Really good shot. Uh, he is a magician, Jim, with the short game. We've seen it all week long. This now Lee's fifth nota. Yes, and um, this is no man's land. This is a big X in the yardage book. You just kind of don't want to end up here. It's going to really call for something special, kind of like this, Ryan. My goodness. Now, I know that's about 10 feet, but considering where he was and everything he had to overcome, phenomenal effort right there. Dunlap now for Birdie to take the outright lead at 16. So really coming down to a two-player race, Ryan, with Young ho having that difficult finish there at the 18th. It's down to Dunlap and Valdez, and Valdez still has some work left. And yeah, so Dunlap in for par at 16. You could see what Brendan had left. Incidentally, the winner of the boys 14 to 18, an exemption to the IMG Worlds in San Diego next year, and also the Gator Invitational in Mississippi. Valdez cleans up his par. We stay tied at the top. Registration for the 2021 Nota Begay Junior Golf National Championship is open now. Sign up by January 1st to skip local qualifying. And go right to the regional finals. 36 holes away from making it here to the national championship. You could be playing on Golf Channel too. Go ahead, register now. I got to play a lot more golf because of the pandemic. We had tournaments and I could go out and practice and that just really helped me because I had something to do all the time. Going outside and just being able to be active and not staying inside so much. It's definitely given me a purpose and something to work towards um, even though we all had to quarantine. When I'm out on the golf course I kind of can forget about everything else that's going on and just find a happy place and it's a really it's a really good thing to have. Just a great opportunity to get away from the pandemic and away from like reality. It's an outside sport where I can hang out with my friends while being socially distant. It's definitely kept me busy after like school or whatever which completely drains you. You get to you know, go out and have fun and be in nature. 
kind of a minor miracle, Noda, that we are even here at Cachada. All the, the things that had to happen ultimately allowing us to run this series and this championship. And uh, for the ladies, it's basically match play now. Macaulay and Stevens. It really is. Macaulay's had a couple chances to put some pressure on Stevens and hasn't been able to do it again, leaving the door open there. Uh, Stevens, on the other hand, has stood up to the test. Back to 18 now. Drew Wilson's had a great week, Noda. And this has just got to be so much fun, getting to play on television, getting to play on a course that is so finely manicured and um, players have been so complimentary of everything that's gone on this week and Drew Wilson is one of them as well. Super consistent, three rounds under par, 70, 70, 71. And obviously a memory that he'll keep for the rest of his life. Back to Stevens now. Pretty straightforward pitch here for Stevens. Just doesn't want to get the hands too involved. Just rotate, turn through it, let the club do the work. Land it a few feet short of the green. A little bit more spin on it than she wanted. Some work left to do. Back to 18. The ninth grader that took a lead for a while here on the final day at the Nota Begay Junior Golf National Championship. Not exactly how... Biongo Lee would have wanted this to play out over the last five holes, but what a testament to this kid's future. It uh, really is, and just got caught up on that final hole, but again, I said playing aggressive to the very end, and I like this guy's style. So much like the ladies, it is a two-horse race for the boys. Stevens, every time she's needed a par putt, she's got it. I feel like I'm a broken record with Alan Stevens, but another big par saving putt. Shouldn't be much in this at all. Boy, she rolls those in with authority. Remarkable. She, she's got some strong nerves. I talked to her early in the week. She said her experience at drive, chip, and putt at Augusta really gave her a lot of confidence. Now McCauley to match Stevens with a par and go to the 18th one down. Some big par putt for McCauley and be a great par save considering where she was in that bunker. She just held that face open. So some breathing room for the first time for Allen Stevens. She'll take a two-shot lead to the 54th hole at the Nota Begay the Third Junior Golf National Championship. The Nota Begay the Third Junior Golf National Championship features four age groups. Over 3,000 went through the qualifying process at 22 sites across the country. 156 qualified with 34 states represented. Three days of competition with four champions by the end of the day. We've already crowned two champions today, two more still to come. The sun just starting to set here at Cachada. See this left of the hole? Knuckled on him just a little bit. Not entirely happy with that one. Going to have a little bit of a downhill putt from behind the hole. Meanwhile, Stevens. Alan Stevens, smart play, just going with a fairway medal. No need to take this on, a two-shot lead. I just talked to her mom, Adrian. I said, who's more nervous right now, you or her? She said, definitely me. Well, Lisa Stevens is showing no nerves. Every time she needs a putt, she has delivered. Meanwhile, Valdez tied for the lead at 17. Digs it out of there, and that's just a little bit left. Needs a decent kick. And that's going to release all the way back near the back of the green. That's going to be a tough two putt from there, Ryan. Back to McCauley, no to two down, one hole to play. What's the strategy? Well, just really in a tough spot here. Not able to reach this green in two to create a traditional eagle chance. So he's going to have to do it with the wedge on the third shot. Well, Noda and I are so thankful for everyone who has helped us with staging this national championship, especially to those who have qualified. This championship is different from a lot of others because they have so many awesome activities and just different experiences. The long drive contest and the closest to the pin. I think there's a lot more opportunities to make friends here. Being able to hang around these guys and 
Just have a little bit of fun off the course. It relieves that stress off the tournament. It's obviously the phenomenal host of Nota Begay, Wilson, all the sponsors. The course is amazing. I like to thank the staff for setting this tournament up. Everyone who I'm playing against is great players. The best part about this, there weren't really any exceptions, so you kind of had to earn your spot here. It's made an opportunity for you know friends and family, teachers, you know everyone who knows me to kind of see what I have. Being on TV, it gives the pressure, but the nerves that you have, you have to just use into hitting your ball further, hitting it closer, and making the putts. The person you can play the best under pressure will do well in this type of event. You know, most of our events are just are behind closed doors, and, and it's just the, the kids you're playing with that, that know how you did. Putting this on TV is just helping a ton of kids get their dreams and, and play college golf. Jacob Tarkani at 17. He'll play his college call for Coach Jay Mosley at Ohio State, recently signing his letter of intent. Tough day for Jacob in that final group. Yeah, but he's going to take away a whole wealth of experience. He get to play alongside two of the marquee players in his class and um, not the way he wanted to perform, but still going to walk away holding his head high. Yeah, great shot. Banging it in with the putter from off the green. Now Valdez, boy, he would, he'd like to take one of those off the green birdies. Actually, it's not off the green, but it is a lengthy putt. Yeah, it's going to work from left to right downhill. You can see how quickly he plays, walking after it. And yes, it does need to put the flaps down just a bit. So Valdez will have a lengthy par save. Meanwhile, you can see that light is uh, not of a premium right now. Nicole Felci in that final group at 18. And like I said, most players here laying up and a very nice approach there for Felch. He just passed the hole. So now Allen Stevens, her third shot at the last, has to go over water with a two-shot lead. We have to wonder for Allen Stevens. She's from Houston. What a win this would be for a player less than three hours from home. This from 80 yards. Bringing it in low again. And really measures that out to perfection, Ryan. That is exactly what you have to do. All the chips on the table. There's still a little bit that could have gone wrong with that water in front of the green, but nonetheless, basically putting the, the win in her hip pocket. Yeah, McCauley basically needs this to go in, Lisa. McCauley, 79 yards, also bringing it in low. And another fantastic shot, giving the fans a lot to cheer for here at the final hole. Just incredible golf. Stevens and McCauley going toe to toe, back now to 17. Dunlap for birdie and the lead. Dunlap now about 25 feet coming down the slope. He's got a really good idea of the speed after watching Brennan hit his putt a good six feet by. Just for birdie to get the 10 under. Good speed, but just not a great read. Saw a lot more right to left in that and just didn't come that way. Might be enough though, as Valdez trying to avoid the three putt. Uh, Brendan says that is the weakest part of his game is his putting. And he's gonna rely on that putter right here. An opportunity to save par and stay tied at nine under. And Ryan, it's really coming down to a match play mentality with Dunlap doing exactly what he needed to do, cozying that ball in there, making Valdez think about it. If he misses this putt, he loses the lead for the first time in quite a while. But Brendan showing some guts. And uh, the kid that smiles more than anyone, no smile there, just a gigantic exhale as this has become real. Back to 18. You know, you've gotten to watch some quality golf shots when the first player to go for birdie is inside 10 feet. This is about eight feet for birdie for Felchie to close it out in style. Good putt, just didn't turn quite enough. Had it on her line that she wanted. Tough 75 for Felchie on the last day, but certainly did her spot to get into contention. Stevens now a chance for Birdie to close it out and win the Nota Begay the third Junior Golf National Championship. Alan Stevens. We have seen her make a lot of these putts inside 10 feet. This from about seven feet, just slightly right to left. 
She did it again. And she did do it again, Lisa. And not only did she just win the Nota Begay, the third junior golf national championship, Nota, she will play the Symmetra Tour next summer. Yeah, the Coeur d'Alene Tribe of Idaho was kind enough to extend our girls 14 to 18 winner an invitation to the 2021 Symmetra Circling Raven Championship next summer. So a lot to look forward to in her schedule next summer. And a lot to be proud of from Isabella McCauley who hung in there the entire way. Ultimately, it is a 71 on this final day. A lot closer than the final leaderboard would say it is Alan Stevens that walks away as the winner of the first ever 14 to 18 girls, Nota Begay the third junior golf national championship to 18. Not able to hit driver here, Ryan, trying to lay up short of the lake that kind of runs out and into the middle of this fairway. Very nicely done in the fairway, just up the left side. So three champions crowned here at Cachada, one to go. When I talked to uh, Nick Dunlap about his strategy in playing this hole, he thinks driver is a bit too much and just tries to get it right up to the very edge of that lake to give himself something of an opportunity to consider going forward in two and just coming up well short. That was a very poor swing. So it is match play between Valdez and Dunlap. Shadows are long, daylight running out at Cachada, but one of the bright spots all week has been Allen Stevens, a dominating performance on her way to a win at Cachada. We'll hear from the champion when we come back. Fifty fourth hole here at Cachada for the boys 14 to 18 tie at the top Valdez and Dunlap third at 18 Dunlap now has 95 yards should be a perfect sandwich for him Going right at it He misses it just off the right side of the green I mean, that wasn't quite what he was trying to get to Right at 91 yards I was kidding him on the last tee, saying finally made a birdie. He did make eagle back at 10, but been kind of one of those days. He just hadn't quite had the speed and the lines matched up on the, especially on the back nine. And again, just a little out of sort there on that third shot approach. All right, Brendan Valdez will be next. 68 yards. He's like, ooh, I laid this thing up a little closer than I wanted. I would think this is a perfect lob wedge. It just depends how soft the ground is here. Okay, it's just off the back part of the fringe. So Valdez and Dunlop, each with birdie putts at 18. Meanwhile, Alan Stevens, winner of the first ever Nota Begay the third Junior Golf National Championship, standing by with Lisa. Ryan, it certainly was a pleasure watching this young woman play. Alan, first of all, congratulations. You told me just a moment ago that this was a big win for you because you've really been in a slump. How much does it mean to you to not only break out of that slump but get this victory so close to your hometown of Houston? Oh, this was absolutely amazing, especially shooting my um, career record this weekend was a great feeling. How about your competition out there? Isabella gave you quite a battle down the stretch, and I'm sure that you could really feel it. What do you think? led you to this victory late when things were so tight? Just really believing in my game and kind of just trying to stay solid, get pars. Um, if you par me to death, I guess you, you win. So. I think in your off time, you can give putting lessons. Yeah. Well done, great playing. Thank you. Great playing indeed, back to 18. Brennan's got it coming down about 20 feet. So he'll slide a little bit to his right. Not a lot of fringe to go through, so that ought to come out pretty smooth. Just to get the 10 under. It has been the story of the back nine. My goodness, you could not hit a putt better than that. He's got to be completely surprised that that didn't just fall in on the left edge of that hole. And the Ever Showman, 67. He'll now have to wait and see as Nick Dunlap will take center stage and have a birdie putt 
for the win on the 54th hole. All right, Nick Dunlap coming out of the French about five feet. Depends what it does. If it doesn't bump, it's a pretty fast, pretty smooth putt here. As it gets onto the green, shouldn't be a whole lot in this. I love the Auburn-Alabama rivalry. This is for future Alabama Crimson Tide. And another good effort there. I mean, these guys are covering up the hole and doing everything but going in. Looks like we're headed to the playoff. And the Iron Bowl will get a 19th hole. Auburn and Alabama will head to extra holes. Both players final round 67. Meanwhile, the third member of the group, Tarkani, to clean it up. Yeah, Jacob with a disappointing bogey on the last hole, just a tough day for him. Tough day for Tarkani, Ryan, but nonetheless should be very proud. Now daylight is becoming sparse here at Kashadi Pines, but we're gonna head to the 17th hole and we are gonna have a playoff. Dunlap, Valdez, when we come back. Registration for the 2021 Nota Begay Junior Golf National Championship is open now. Sign up by January 1st to skip local qualifying. And go right to the regional finals. 36 holes away from making it here to the national championship. You could be playing on Golf Channel too. Go ahead, sign up now. Brendan Valdez, 17 years old and from Orlando, Florida. Nick Dunlap, 16 from Huntsville, Alabama. So two of the highest ranked players coming into Cachada ultimately end up needing extra holes to decide the Nota Begay the third Junior Golf National Championship. Now while we were away, the 17th hole, Valdez had a great look at Birdie Nota. Watch this putt working left to right. He likes it, look at him watching it. Cannot believe it took that last turn. I had to believe he thought he ended it right there. Dunlap also had a great opportunity at 17 from off the green. A little bit of a disadvantage coming off of that apron. Hard to get the ball turning over, but nonetheless hits a great putt, and he too is a little bit frustrated with that outcome. So the stage is set here at 18. Valdez is already laid up. Interesting, Dunlop was going for the green in two, Noda, for the first time all week, topped it, and now has this awkward spot. And was really lucky for the ball not to find the water on that second shot. Ends up in the fairway with a wedge in his hand. Nick's got 135 off the downhill aisle, slide a little to his right, so. That is going right at it. Maybe just a little left of it, though. Oh, my goodness. Big mistake there. And, Ryan, that's what adrenaline will do to you in the heat of the moment. It causes you to come up sometimes 10, 12 yards long, and he's scratching his head like, where in the earth did that come from? Valdez now, the door wide open. This his third at 18, second playoff hole. Brendan Valdez now 110, just a sandwich. Able to put a lot more control, much closer to the hole, and that's exactly what should happen. A much better executed shot there. And Valdez clearly in the driver's seat. If you want to be in the driver's seat next year on your way to Cachata, sign up today, jgnc.org. These are the East Region qualifying sites. If you register before January 1st, you are 36 holes away from playing on Golf Channel at Cachata. If you register after January 1st, you will have to attend an 18-hole qualifier. This is the South region. Here is the Midwest, some absolutely great venues on the 2021 regional qualifying schedule, including Mystic Lake again in Minnesota and the California Regional. Some of the best players in the country will look to qualify at these sites, Noda. Some wonderful sites, wonderful venues. They do a real good job of welcoming these young junior golfers and promoting them in pursuing competitive golf. Back to 18 now. Dunlap with a tough spot. He's a good 50 feet over the screen. The problem is he's got a large mound between him 
And there's a couple sprinkler heads. I think the only way to get this close is to carry it all the way there. If he carries it into the slope, he just takes the risk of it kicking hard and to the right. It's a decent lie, though. All in all, about as good as he was going to do from there. And he's still going to be away, so it will be Dunlap putting for par and Valdez inside him putting for birdie. Trying to join these three champions right here from Cachada today at the first ever Nota Begay the third Junior Golf National Championship. Boys 13 and under, Nicholas Gross 18 under par. Girls 13 and under, Iana Wilson. Girls 14 to 18, Allen Stevens all hoisting the trophy in victory. And Ryan, as we see Dunlap walk around the other side of the hole, still has a chance, but needs a few things to go his way. And the first thing that has to happen is he has to absolutely make his putt. All right, Nick Dunlap, probably 15 feet for par. With Brennan in there close, he's got to make this putt to have any chance. Might go a little to his left. And it misses high and right, and that's gonna be left for bogey and doors wide open for Brennan Valdez. Dunlap will tap in. It is sixth at the last, and now Valdez for birdie and the win. Two putts, Nota, to win the championship. And this certainly might be the toughest 10-foot putt that Valdez has ever seen. Just cozied up there, Brendan, just like that. So Brendan Valdez from Orlando, Florida, the Auburn commit taps in on the second playoff hole. And Brendan Valdez, winner of the 2020 Nota Begay the third Junior Golf National Championship. Incredible final day here at Cachada Resort. Valdez wins in a playoff. Some great golf all the way around. Valdez wins in a playoff with Jim Gallagher. Thanks, Ryan. Brendan Valdez, what a, what a finish out there. You and uh, Nick were out there battling it back and forth, kind of an Auburn, Alabama thing. But you had a lot of putts that almost went in. How tough was it to stay patient knowing you had so many good putts? Um, I mean, it's tough, but, you know, when you have a good player right next to you, you know you have to stay patient and really keep on your grind to uh, eventually hopefully come out on top. Well, your friends were Christina Kim. You guys spent a lot of time together. They played Orange Tree, so if you can drive it at Orange Tree, you can drive it at anything. What has she taught you or maybe some of the advice she's given you over these um, years? Honestly, just keep my head, like, just calm. Like, if I hit a shot that I feel like isn't good enough but it's still on the green, I have to still be patient with it and be happy with it. Something you win a tournament at this level, what's this do for your confidence going forward? Oh, it completely boosts it. I mean, it's it's wonderful to win. I mean, especially on Golf Channel. I mean, it's 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 amazing. Dream come true. And you're going to Auburn uh, next fall. And I'm going to Tennessee, but we're okay with that. But War Eagle, uh, War Eagle, exactly. But you're looking forward to that. You got some more golf to play. What's next for you? Uh, hopefully, I mean, going to college. Hopefully, winning NCAA's and then making it to PGA Tour. That's you know, the goal. That's a great goal. I've been there. You'll enjoy it. Well, congratulations. <laughs> we appreciate you. spending some time and good luck. Four incredible days at Cachada Resort. Four incredible champions that change your life at Cachada. We'll be back, wrap up an incredible day after this. That's his father <laughs> watching right here. That's my dad. The Nota Begay the third Junior Golf National Championship is brought to you by Cachada Resort and Hotel, Louisiana's best bet. Powered by Wilson, from our home in Chicago to golf courses around the world, let's play on. We began this journey six months ago looking to change junior golf forever. Year one, I think we've done just that, Nota. We started with over 3,000 players. We've ended with our champions today inclusive to the entire country. Your thoughts on year one? Well, the mission of the entire event was just to create an opportunity and access for players all across the country to come and qualify and sign up and be a part of this prestigious event. And I think we've achieved that. We've created something special here. We've had 150 kids from all across the United States, and we've treated them to some wonderful golf, some wonderful hospitality, and we've identified truly 
some of the most talented and gifted players in the United States. And it's a testament to who they are as players and how hard they work, to the support they get from their parents and their coaches. And that's why they're all here. And that's why this event has been a tremendous success from my standpoint. And most importantly, registration for the 2021 Nota Begay III Junior Golf National Championship is now opened at JGNC.org. Sign up today, sign up before January 1st, and you will miss local qualifying and be 36 holes from playing on Golf Channel next year. Until next time, we'll see you at Quesada. From the first day I stepped in, I knew I would heed the call. I was destined for glory, rise above and never fall. This is the moment I've waited for. I was born to win.